Hi, I'm Jermaine Genus, and I'm going to show you the best way to determine sporting outcomes using facts, stats and science. And these guys are the F2 Freestylers. And this is a penalty special. We'll be looking at how goalies can mentally prepare for a penalty shootout. And how pressure and nerves affect the takers. We'll also see if there's a perfect way to score from the spot. So keep watching as we prove once again that luck is no coincidence. Yes! Bill, you was meant to miss. Never gonna happen, Jez. Not on the intro. Love them or hate them, penalties are a massive part of football. In all major international competitions, there have been over 40 games decided by penalty shootouts, offering up some huge moments, like Roberto Baggio's miss in the 1994 final. Roberto Baggio, he's missed it! It's certainly um, a very uh, scary moment. I think any footballer would, would say that, and if he, uh, if he doesn't say that, he's lying. Football hell. I mean, as a player, you, at least you've got an input <laughs> if you're taking one. But as a manager, you're totally in other people's hands. Whether it's a right back who steps up and does it for you, the centre forward who grabs the ball, you want boys who enjoy the, enjoy the task and have a great record of scoring goals. Knowing your stuff can help you make the right decision when backing those under pressure. And with only 16% of penalties saved, the odds are massively stacked against the goalkeeper. This is amazing. Can you believe it? Worst penalty experience in my career has been knocked out in Portugal when Ronaldo scored the winner against me. Cristiano was clever that game because he realised that the goalkeeper's not going to stand still. He's going to dive one way or another because if I stand still and it goes in either corner, people's going to, why didn't you move? Why didn't you dive? But at least pick one way. And he was clever, he went straight down the middle. For our first test, I'm at Peacehaven FC in southern England, where I want to find out just how important penalty stats are for a goalkeeper. And for that, I need some penalty takers. And to help them hone their penalty technique, we've got a penalty pro, Louis Saha. My penalty taking routine is simple. I try to focus on the, on the ball. I try to really focus on the contact, uh, make sure that I hit it properly with enough precision, but strength to make sure that uh, he passed by the, the goalkeeper. And he told him where he was going to go, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst Louis and I put the boys through their paces, behind the scenes, the F2 are secretly studying Peace Haven's penalty techniques, along with ex-England goalkeeper Paul Robinson and psychologist Pierre Hordé. The idea behind this experiment was to change the odds a little bit to see if it's possible to give the goalkeeper uh, a bigger chance using research. Right, this is the one we're looking at. 15. His go to is an almost straight run up and then opens his foot up at the last minute. Oh! oh nice, nice really well. good. No, he's gone the same again. Right, right, right. Oh! How happy he is. 15. He goes left. That's accurate. No, it's... It's like he's pretty much oh, everybody. Wow. He scored everyone. I think you got good strike on the ball. You have to really focus on that. If you want to hit the target, you have to open up. Is down the middle the safest bet? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Great nice. penalty, yeah. Nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> So we've collected the data and from this we've calculated every player's dominant penalty. That's right, we're almost ready to go. All that's left is Paul, his earpiece. If you put that in and we'll feed you the data through the earpiece. Thank you boys, make me look good. Let's do it. For the goalkeepers to do the research and to have their data down and to, to be prepared for this can really be a massively successful investment into the outcome of a penalty shootout. Right, lads, I hope you've been listening to all of Louis's tips when it comes to taking penalties, but I think it's time to take things to the next level now. Let's bring somebody in who's got some shot-stopping experience. Oh, 
Right, lads, it's time to put your penises to the test. Robbo, if you can hear us, go to your left post and touch the left post. <laughs> he started that yeah, well. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Good man. <laughs> I would always say to the goalkeeper, you've got absolutely nothing to lose here. Delay him as much as you can. He wants to get that over and done with. The Robbo's right in his face, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If the goalkeeper saves one out of five shots, here he is, 14. then the goalkeeper can very easily become the hero of a penalty shootout. We're staying with the data on this one, mate. Going left. Get in there! Yes, get in there, Robbo! 15 now. We're up a few times. last two left, so we think he's going to change to right. Oh! Should have gone with the data. Right, 16. 16. The data says he's going left, yeah. and he missed his last one on the right. It's going to be left. It's going left. It has to be left. Oh, that's cheeky, Zach. Oh, he's got that in the middle. Keepers hate that, man. Well, data says right, the majority are right. Data says right. Yeah, yeah. You judge it, though, Robbo. Oh! <laughs> Pressured him out. Was that fingertips? Lucky. 11. The last six are left, but he missed the last time. Yeah. Should we say left? If you have a go-to penalty, it makes you a very easy target for goalkeepers who, who do their research. Get in there! Great save, Robo! Well done, Rob. He's off his line, it'll be rigged. <laughs> Data was right. This, to me, was a convincing demonstration that uh, with a little bit of spy work and, and a little bit of research and effective manner to feed the information to the goalkeeper, you actually get an edge in these situations. So we're focused on preparation and we found out that studying penalties can really help the goalkeepers. But now it's time to raise the stakes and see how the pressure affects the takers. So what we've decided to do is invite Peace Haven's local rivals New Haven for a penalty shootout. They're not just playing for their local bragging rights though. We want to really put them under pressure. We've hooked them up to the latest monitoring technology so we can watch their heart rates rise as the stress builds. For the winner, there's a year sponsorship deal which could really help their club prosper. The pressure is on. Right, this is it, exactly as it happens in the big tournaments. We've got Peace Haven versus New Haven. Bill, you're of New Haven. Jez, you're of Peace Haven. We've got Paul Robinson in goal. Can I have the captains, please? Dave, you're going to call to see who goes first. Tails. Tails it is. Uh, we'll go first. Penalties to me is the, the ultimate pressure moment in sports. Maybe, maybe even in life. Can't imagine anything more pressure filled. So for a sports psychologist, this is this is heaven. It's the worst walk in football. It's a long way to honestly. go, isn't it? Every single step. Perfect penalty. The perfect penalty is the one that goes straight in the back of the net. The negative thoughts attached to the, the possible negative consequences of, of missing a shot will be there. A lot of things happen up here and, and you start to think too much. You're playing with your nerves, you're playing with your thoughts. You're, you've got too much time. I have to admit that I chose my moment in the very last second. Practice makes perfect for penalties. So the more you practice, the more your body is ready to put the ball where you want it to be. Yeah! Yes! He's got that straight run up. Yeah! I don't know about this. Out of all no, of them that have been studying, yeah. he's not the most nervous. Yeah, he's not yeah, been looking yeah. forward to it being his turn. Nah, it's nah, a nah. very nerve-wracking thing. It's a mental thing you've got to switch off. The physiological signs of, of, of stress also get to their coordination. They try to control what's going on. They try to undermine the automatic, effortless, natural way of just taking the shot and not really thinking about what to do. Let's see how he deals with the pressure. 
If he gets it, fair play to him. <laughs> come on! Back you come! Right, lads. It's four all. This is sudden death. This is this is intense now. This is as pressurised as it gets when it comes to penalty shootouts. How are you feeling about your team? I think the Raven have got it. Yeah. I think they have, yeah. Self? I'm on the fence. On the fence? There's a lot of pressure. You can feel the tension. Well, well, if you're doubting your own team, then... Let's find out. In a pressure situation, if you've practised enough, you shouldn't feel um, a heart rate spike. Your nervous system shouldn't have to react. You've almost got to imagine yourself wherever you would be on the training ground with just your mate and goal, or go back to even when you're a part player. If you can relax that much, then, then you're nine times out of ten, you'll, you'll score that penalty. The Peace Haven boys held their nerve when the pressure was on, and they've come through victorious to secure a valuable year's Unibet sponsorship, and more importantly, those local bragging rights. With penalty shootouts, there are so many different factors involved. The only thing we can really say for sure is that the pleasure and pain of them is here to stay. So, what do our Unibet experts have to say about predicting outcomes when it comes to penalties? Most of us have watched a penalty shootout at some point and thought, I bet he's going to miss this. Guy instinct's actually not a bad judgement. You can tell a lot by the player and how he walks from the halfway line, how he places the ball and how he does his run up. During the penalty shootout it's very important to know who starts to shoot first. There are statistics saying that if you start first you have a higher chance of winning the competition. If the one team is a big favourite, like 1.7, I will not bet that team because I think the other team will uh, give us a big over odds. When it comes to international penalty shootouts, you'll often have three or so players who are regular penalty takers at their clubs. A good tip is to make a list of the five players you think will take penalties beforehand. Are they still on the pitch? Are they on the subs bench? Or have they been subbed already? This is really beneficial because you can now bet on who's going to score the next penalty and which team is going to win the penalty shootout. Now, time for part of the F2 penalty repertoire. The no-step penalty, giving the keeper no time to react. The good old faithful no-look. The ground Travella. This one is called the fake pen. He wasn't expecting that, was he? The dirty, grimy ground smash. The Ravona. The cheeky trip headset. Very cheeky. And this is probably the laziest penalty you're ever likely to see. Chill. Penalties have it all. The pleasure and the pain, the joy and the sorrow. The sheer beauty and human drama of it all. Join us again as we share more stats, facts and insight to help give you that edge. As we prove once again, luck is no coincidence.